I think some of y'all just be typing shit because y'all got because no, y'all got a working no, phone. They, no, they they type these things because this is the way they feel. Is it? Yes. This is the way they feel. And this is a part of the hetero supremacy. Mm. And we and there are us fags that fall under the, the us fall under some of the guises of hetero of the hetero because they want to have close proximity. Ah, oh, I was one of those fags. Oh, come on. I too was one of those fags because I've always I always in those times felt that they weren't talking about me. Right. I felt another parallel coming. They weren't talking about me. Like, like it, it's kind of like a Candace Owen thinking that she has proximity because she has white girlfriends and she had all white women that came came to her bridal shower or baby shower. And so she thinks that she has some sort of protection or immunity because her husband is white, her children are mulatto, and she got white girlfriends. That kind of proximity? Yes. Oh, okay. There's another parallel. I was a I was a, a, a trans a trainee trainee that was in spaces because oh you're you're not like the rest of them uh huh they do that with gay men too are you not like them right you, you know it's cool when y'all like this I just don't like them when they all extra extra flaming I don't like that and why they got to put on girl clothes and then you start chiming in and agreeing with them because I was one of those girls before I transitioned years ago that was like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because if a man wanted a woman, he'd be with a woman, and he didn't. He wouldn't be, you know. So you still a man, you did, mm. you know. And then when you start walking into the shoes, you're like, oh shit. And the gays who sit in the barber shop, when the other barbers are talk, when the barbers are talking about the gay boy that comes in, that's obviously gay, and you know you're gay, and you're sitting there and you're agreeing with the homophobia because they haven't clocked you. See, there's privilege in every community. Just like I told the story the other day on, on the on uh, my own personal live uh, mm -hmm. when I was at Denny's, mm -hmm. I had flew into L.A. and mm -hmm. I was at Denny's. Yeah, and I I a lady walked in and there was a, a trans woman or a dragon. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. She was clocking. <laughs> Get get my children out of here. Where, where was she? Yeah, was she brought her children out. Girl, she was what girl? Yeah, she was she was clocky. She was, and it's okay to be she, clocky because let me tell you something. The, the, the time when I was the most clocky is I pulled the most men. Uh huh. When so I, she when was I clocky. Was, when I was the most clockiest. She was giving Big Ben at the Denny's. Bitch, she was out with her man eating. Okay. And that woman walked in that building, and that woman stood next to me. And she said, "She said, look at that, look at that man right there, girl." Because she didn't know about no. you. No, and I looked at her. See, I, that's that passability. And so I look. Well, no, they say I can't, but it's okay. Quick, but, don't start it. Don't crank that up. Go ahead. Get my okay. children out of here. Okay, go that ahead. Up. Go ahead. You know, I look exactly like a man. All right, all right. <laughs> I look exactly like a girl, man. I was wondering if you were going to shave today, girl. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering if you were going to get your bick. Out <laughs> to go up under your neck, girl. There's a little stubble over here. It's a little stubbly, girl. Let me shave my chest. Too. Right, right. right. <laughs> Don't start that crazy. Right, right. So what happened now? So um, <laughs> she walked in and she was like, "Look at that motherfucking man sitting there." So I'm looking. Now, just for context, was this a black lady or, or a white lady? She was a black woman. Okay, go ahead. Yes, she was a black woman. Mm -hmm. Yes. Funny you ask that. Uh huh. <laughs> I don't understand the pressure, but okay. Uh huh. Look at that motherfucking man. So now I should go over there and tell that motherfucking man that he's sitting there eating with that motherfucking man. You should have been like, ma'am. No, no, hold on. I, oh, I, I peeled her cap back. <laughs> Girl. Oh, I peeled her cap back. <laughs> right. You see how you got your hat to the Right. You, I peeled her cap back. Okay, come on. So she was like, I should go over there and tell. So I was just like, what? You know, like, right. wait. So I'm surveying. What happened? It is? You send it to our inbox? To mine? Okay. <laughs> it's like, girl, if you can clock her, you think he doesn't know? Right. So I'm over here, like, well, Mo, find it over here. So I'm over here, like, saying, like, well, damn, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, what? So I'm just, I was so, fl I was, so, okay, got it. I was so blown <laughs> back. Mm-hmm. By the well, I want to hear about when you peeled her cap. Oh, back. wait, I did because it took me a minute. I wanted to get my food first, <laughs> just in case there was a situation. I needed to eat. <laughs> that girl's over there, having she was having her meal with her man. I need to eat. 
<laughs> Look, and just in case there's a situation, I need to get my food first. I need to eat. All that other shit. All Before that I get into this place. activism at the Denny's. Yeah, I need to eat. All that other shit. I don't, I don't get to, I need to eat. Okay. Yeah, so we'll play that in a second. Okay. So, girl, she was, stud- it was, she was so infuriated and enraged by this girl sitting there chewing her dinner up. With her man, like she was enraged, she just kept saying, "Motherfucking man, girl, why is she so angry? You fucking man. I mean, at the counter, fucking man. Girl, I'm just... sick of you, fucking men. I'm so sick of you, motherfucking men. Girl, and that you trainee a... wasn't didn't what, even know girl, she was standing there. She didn't. Didn't even know she was standing girl, there. You didn't your blood pressure up for girl, nothing. Girl, that trainee was over there tearing that motherfucking uh, <laughs> moves over Miami up, bitch. What was she eating, girl? She was having the moves over Miami, girl. She was having some nachos, honey. <laughs> girl, she she was gonna have a good evening. Baby, she was having an evening, honey. Or she had just got her pussy dug up away. So she could, she, she could eat whatever she wanted. Whatever she wanted. Eat whatever she wanted. That man had knocked her box loose and said, "Girl, go get in there, get whatever you want, girl." But we're going to the Denny's. Girl, chew, we're done. We're going to the Denny's. Girl, chew, we're done, girl. You did good. Girl, I, had, I mean, was tearing her to pieces, mm, 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 girl. Mm. So then, once my food came, once I had got my my, my um my um ham and cheese ham. And What'd cheese you order, girl? I had a ham and cheese omelet. Uh huh. That's it. Ham cheese. Girl, that was a light night for you. Is Honey, that all you had? I did. <laughs> girl, 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 is that all you had? What are you trying to say? Girl, you look like a woman, what? and it gives woman, but you eat like a nigga all day. <laughs> She looks like a woman. She lives as a woman. She gives woman, but she eats like a man. All day. <laughs> all oh, no, day. that's right. All so day. then what did you have? You had this omelet and I what? had an omelet. That was it? Yeah. See, I had a, I had a, my night was early. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> my night was early. Uh-huh. So I had an omelet and, um, you know, and once my omelet came, whatever, and she was, that lady was still going, oh. I said, bitch, you know what you need to do? You need to mind your motherfucking business in times because, bitch, you don't know who the fuck you stand to because, bitch, I'm the same motherfucking thing. That bitch is over there. And I should go over there and tell her so, so we can, can whip your ass. Whoop your motherfucking ass. What'd she say? She was so flabbergasted. What was she, girl? Flabbergasted. What was she, girl? Gooped and gagged. <laughs> I gooped, gagged, and gathered. Right, right, right. <laughs> Confusion she was definitely living in confusion. Phyllis Hyman. <laughs> what the lady say? She stood there because I had peeled her back like so fast in her face. I was in her face telling her, and I should go over there and tell that motherfucking hoe so she can whoop your motherfucking ass in this bitch. So the lady never said anything. She couldn't. And the trainee didn't see none of this. No. She couldn't say anything. My God, did that. What the fuck could she say? Nothing. That's something else. But see, that's the, that's the thing. Like, why do you volunteer hate? Why do you volunteer hate? Ladies, I'd like to challenge you to check yourselves. A lot of you ladies that say that you don't have any pre- you don't have any problem because I, I eat. I have to eat. Being I don't like black women every day. I have to eat this every day. I have to eat this narrative that's spent on me every single mm-hmm. day. I have to eat this. So let's ask yourself these questions. What Do is- I have implicit bias? What Craig said, but explain what implicit bias is. <laughs> <laughs> it, explain what implicit bias is. Implicit bias is just like, is it just a part of your nature? Is it just through your life experiences? Is it a part of your DNA? Like, we all have implicit bias, right? Mm-hmm. You know, just think just because of culture and how we were raised, our ex- our life experiences, because we're the sum of our experiences. You know what I mean? So, like, sometimes we do have uh, implicit- someone in the comments said that's how I act. So I act like I don't. Yes, like it li- implicit bias lives with you at all times. That's a hold, great hold way to on. say it. Some woman in the comments said that's how I act. So I act like I don't like black women. Hmm. Well, well, how are you supposed to act? Yeah. Can, can we get an example of how yeah, she's like supposed to, to act? I'd like to know. Help me. Because I, I, if I don't know I'm doing wrong, help me. Help me. Mm-hmm. I need the comments to flow in. Overflow. Mo, the, you, you stuck on one? No. That, that's right. Okay. Yes, yeah, Starry. Help me. Let me lean forward so I can hear some of this stuff. (laughs) 
That button's not working either, Mo. I don't know. I'm just. You said what? Is that no, new comments button not working either? If I do the new comments, you won't see what people have posted oh. before you started talking. That's why I was just letting oh. you scroll down so you guys could see. No, I was just curious if it everything. was. Uh, uh, Terrence uh, Oliver. They could never. Wait, hold on. Where? Terrence Oliver. Oh, because, man, hey, you mad. <laughs> I love you too, Terrence. saying they're lying uh, I, I don't know I, I never got that please explain yourself right? oh they said hold on wait, wait, there's somebody Melanie, uh, Melanie Rice said Maddie does act like she hates black women oh can you give me an example we can be called in let's we're calling me in instead of calling me out if you're calling me in uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. I'd like help maybe this will be some therapy for me Where is God in this? And yes, you act like you don't like black women. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, my question is, where is God in all those other people's uh, work? Whenever they're tearing up black women, real black women. Ah, new Niambi Stanley. It's generational homophobia and transphobia bought and in, ingrained into society. Ah, okay. Why is she telling? That's right. Okay. <laughs> Somebody said, girl, that's Tasha on the burner account. Oh, I says your approach is the energy you're giving, right? Okay. Oh, they say it's a troll. Uh, they said they just don't want me to respond. Uh, it's not going to happen. Oh, here we go. David says uh, transphobia mirrors racism. Yes. For people that are like, oh, trans people shouldn't use this bathroom or they shouldn't be in this team or sports or league would have been. Okay. All right. So let me take some accountability here. Um, when I read, my mouth is very vicious and I do go low. I do go low. I do go, go gutter. And I do go to a dark place because I feel like that I shouldn't even be to this place. Mm -hmm. um, I'm also a Libra, this, which doesn't mean anything, but it just, there are times I've taken and taken and taken. And then sometimes when I've taken a lot, I just, I latch because I have been and can be transphobic too. Because mm -hmm. I have read the other trans girls too that, what, that I feel come for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, but, but but the thing is, I, okay. But, but I feel like if they come for me, I I I go. I, but those same people who say those very things about you have demonstrated that same behavior. We just don't know it because we don't see their content, or because their content isn't as visible as as yours or or this platform. You understand what I'm saying? So it's like it's 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 the self righteousness. It's the it's the righteousness and self righteousness for me. It's like you know all these people who talked about me quote unquote bullying. But then you look on their page and there they over there talking about them. So so you can talk about it, but we just can't. Well, it's I think that I think they they just like someone did mention, and maybe I should be co cognizant of this. Mm -hmm. I think that it's because they feel that I hold a place of influence, right? That I should be mindful of the things that I say. So we're talking social responsibility. Okay. All right, call me in, Craig. So we're talking social responsibility. Yeah, let me take my watch off for to see a nigga pop across the screen. Well, put that over there. So, so we're talking social responsibility now. Yes, I think that that's what it is. But there's a balance. I think we are socially responsible at times. At times. But well, listen, I'm, you are not Mother Teresa and I am not the Pope. Neither one of us are that. Right. You're a trainee and I'm a fag. And correct. <laughs> and I think that what happens is... Um, I, I have gotten into a place where I, I do occupy a lot of spaces or whatever. Yeah. And, this, and this is why people want to see that taken away from me. Right. Whatever. But what people fail to realize, I got into those spaces because I was authentically me. I ain't never stopped cussing a bitch out from the door that, that knocked on my door. Mm -hmm. All those people that see me cuss, fuss, tell a bitch to suck my ass, suck my dick, fuck you, pussy ass. All those people see been seeing me doing that. Mm -hmm. That ain't nothing new. Them mm -hmm. people not see me naked. I ran around the internet but naked. Yeah. I was naked. 
dick right. balls, titties everywhere. Right. <clears throat> right. I, I've done pornographic film. Like this is nothing that they haven't that these people don't know or seen about. So I, I, I've just been myself. Mm -hmm. Should I have some more responses? Social what's, what's, what's social responsibility. Social responsibility. Yes. Am I a human being? Yes. If you tap me on my shoulder too much, girl, or you or you you feel that you want to you want to step in the ring, I don't care if you got two to two million followers, bitch. Mm -hmm. If I feel like that, I want to say something to you. I will. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm saying. So where is this? What's this idea that we can't say certain stuff because of whatever? Like, who do you all think you are? <laughs> Cause you ain't gonna muzzle me, bitch. No, now we're not talking about the icons. No, we're, I don't want to talk about them anymore because I think they crave it now. They they looking for it now. They want it. 